Hi guys, this is going to be a little bit of a weird video. Not weird, but um, you guys all know that I moderate comments on all of my posts. Um, I think recently, actually, I accidentally allowed a comment that was pretty sexist because I thought it was directed towards me. But actually looking at the thread now, it looks like it was actually directed towards another commenter. Um, and I'm really, really sorry about that. I keep meaning to go back in and like get I didn't want to like delete it and then make her, you know, think that I didn't notice or something. Because I noticed after when she replied to it, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I did not realize that was directed at you. I thought it was directed at me. And so I was allowing it um, but when I thought that I also was like wait why am I allowing those kind of comments directed at me as well like that doesn't make sense why would you, why would you do that so um, let me see where it is so that I can apologize to the people uh, specifically Oh yeah, this one just posted it on its own. So, um, where is it? Mm. Let's see it here. So I did it get held for review? I think I already took care of it, I don't remember. Um, things have been kind of crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it was to Kazesai. Um, somebody made an asshole comment to her, and I allowed it. And I didn't realize it was at you. I'm really sorry. I thought it was at me. Um, so, yes. I... Yeah, so, okay, this comment, apparently I don't even have... This is like one video I don't have moderation on. My milkshake video! It doesn't sound as... I mean, it, it's exactly as fun as it's supposed to be, his milkshakes. So, I've gotten a really, really rude message on this particular video before. Which was literally, someone just commented, this guy Icy Flames, his entire comment um, was... I don't know if you can see this very well, was just that. Just... It says... It says... Fuck off. That's what it says. Um, but then, on the same video, today, I got one. First thing I saw in the morning when I turned off my alarm. just says, Stefan Macy, is the username, suck my dick. Excuse me? What the fuck is wrong with you people? For fuck's sake, it's a milkshake video. It's about making a milkshake, a really good chocolate milkshake. Why you gotta be fucking... So I guess my question posed to the internet at large now is... Why? Why? What does this person get out of dropping by... A video. I don't even know if they watched it. Did they go just go to random videos and say that? Did they just like what? How did you even get here? And after you got here, what made you think that fuck off or suck my dick was in any way okay to do? Fuck off doesn't even make sense. Like, bro, you hit my video. I'm not the one seeking you out. You found me. If you want me to go away, close the fucking tab. Like, I don't have to go anywhere. This is my channel. <laughs> and then this guy saying, suck my dick. Like, what? What even? So I decided, okay. I want to do a little detective work on this guy. His channel has one video on it. Um, he has two subscribers. I don't know who the fuck his subscribers are. I'm going to flag his comment because 
report spam or abuse. That's what I want. Not that Facebook's going to do anything about it. They removed it. Okay. So the question is, what is on this right? He has one video, and it's a live broadcast that's 41 seconds long. This could be bad. Actually, now that I'm clicking on it and thinking about it, this could be terrible. This could be bad news. This could be like jerking off or something scary. Please don't be horrible. It's not even loading. Oh, is it because he's not? Wait, what is this? Um, a little concerned. Is that it? I'm a little concerned about what's gonna happen next. It appears to just be his leg. This is a video of his thigh. Clothed. Small blessings. I don't even know if there's any sound on this. That clearly doesn't know. Okay, that was it. It was, he, I don't even know if he knew what he was doing when he did it. But now, it makes me want to drop by and go, no, you know what? I am going to. No, do I want to? Do I want to sink to his level? Do I want to come down here and say, hey, you commented on my post for no, no reason whatsoever. Why? I just really want to know why. Like, why would... Why would you do this? I don't understand. I don't... Like, I get trolling. I like when you... I don't like it, but I get it. I get when people like to get a rise out of people. But to me, trolling in its truest form is being contrary. Right? Like... You don't troll someone by just telling them to fuck off or suck your dick. That's not trolling, that's just being a classless idiot. Trolling would be like, man, let's see that milkshake on my- You know, like, there's so many better ways to troll that that's the best you could come up with. Like, you got two brain cells squeaking together here like that? Like, <laughs> that's all you have? Really? It's sad. It's sad that people are that petty and that stupid and that have that much time on their hands. Who the fuck has time for that? I barely have time to comment on the videos that I love. Why would I waste my time commenting on videos I don't give a shit about? I don't understand it. And I don't think I ever will, probably. So, um, this week has not been great. Last week was also not great as evidenced by my video explaining that my grandfather died. So, you know, I love it when I wake up first thing in the morning and when I turn off my alarm, I immediately get a, an email alert saying that someone commented on my video, suck my dick. My grandfather died last week. I hope you're pleased with yourself. I know that not everyone knows my grandfather died. I'm aware of that, but still. You don't know. You don't know if my grandfather just died. Why would you? Don't be an asshole. You never know what someone else is going through, and you never know how much your words are going to affect someone. Why would you ever take the risk? Why would I just... I don't know. It's stupid, and I hate it, and... And another thing is I know it's just part of being a woman on the internet. Just existing in this space is invitation for men to harass me, as they have done countless times. And I don't even mention half of them. It's just the ones that really get me are the ones that have no reason to exist. Like, if a guy wants to tell me I'm ugly, Fine. Who wants to tell me I look like a boy? Okay. Who wants to tell me I look like a lesbian? Alright. Who wants to tell me I have a stupid voice? 
that's your opinion. Like, you can tell me a lot of things that are horrible and really mean, and those things don't really get to me so much anymore. Kind of desensitized at this point, which, by the way, is a bad thing. If you've reached a point in your life where you're desensitized to abuse and harassment, that's probably not a good sign. But it's the ones that just have no, no, almost no effort, I guess, is the thing that gets me. It's like, at least when I imagine they tell someone, oh, you're an ugly bitch or whatever, they get a little thrill out of it, you know, like, oh, I'm better than her. But what do you get from fuck off? What do you get from suck my dick? Hmm? Anything? Because this seems like a waste of energy to me. A waste of precious, precious lifetime. And it makes me mad, because I know that there are a lot of really wonderful people that I know who have briefly ventured onto internet producing air, like, went on to YouTube or blogs or Tumblr, and the harassment just ended it. We couldn't handle the constant barrage of negativity and of hatred and misogyny. And I don't blame them. It's really rough out here. And I think a lot of people, men in particular, don't understand that. Especially if you're a guy who doesn't do that. It probably doesn't even occur to you how often other men are doing it. So, if you ever want to do an experiment one day, if you've got a weekend, sit down. Make yourself an account. Hell, use my pictures if you want for this experiment. Go for it. Make yourself a woman on the internet for a day. A public internet person who is female-bodied on the internet. Or even not female-bodied, but... Well, female-bodied will get you worse. I don't know. Probably not worse. Probably just different harassment. And just see, you know? Just see. There was an experiment that I think, I want to say it was like, it was one of the Gawker sites. Well, they had a guy who made an like, OkCupid okay account under a woman's name. And he thought that it was going to be like one shitty message a day for a week. But within the first 20 minutes he had the account, he already had over 12 really sexual, gross, creepy messages. Like, for in less than 20 minutes. And he actually had to like end his experiment after about two hours because he just couldn't handle it. So it's real and it's happening. And there's a fly in my face. And I think it's, you know, it's, I think it's kind of, privilege is being able to, I think privilege is being able to, cannot understand something because you haven't experienced it. To me. So, you know, my... Oh, God, cat. My white privilege is n was not having understood racism until I experienced it. That's my white privilege. Um, out here, it's a little bit of a different game, but I'm still better off than many other ethnicities of foreigners here. Korea was a nightmare. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess I don't really have that much more to say, except that I wish this didn't happen as often as it does. <sighs> and that I don't really know how to stop it. It just feels like kind of shouting into the void a bit, like, stop being assholes, and then you get a comment. That's not enough to make me stop. I'm an incredibly stubborn person, and 
I will do whatever the fuck I want. And in this case, what I want is to just keep vlogging on YouTube, keep track of my life, keep keep representing something. Not always the best representation, as we all know. <laughs> but I want to be a face that people can trust or at least a face that people trust to try to do the best that I can. And obviously I'm still growing, I'm still learning. I've had this channel for nine years, ten years, something like that. It's been a long time. Oh my god, can you please not? I'm in the middle of something. You cannot sit in my lap right now. For one thing, the makings of peanut butter and jelly are in my lap right now because I'm having dinner and I want to be eating jelly. Okay. Thank you. Yep, that's it. That's really all I got. Somebody told me to suck their dick today on the internet. Again. On a milkshake video. Like, if this was my feminism video, I would get it. If this was almost any other video I have ever made, I would, I would kind of get it. But on the milkshake video? Really? Really? That's the one? <laughs> is that just because just that's the one that you know doesn't moderate comments? Is that, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll change that tonight, though. I think I'll change that. So, that's it. If you guys have any insight into the minds of fuck boys. Is that the, is that what they are? It might be what they are. And before you accuse me of reverse sexism, you're definitely a man. You are absolutely a man. Well, man is a relative term. You are Someone presumably with a dick, Stefan Macy, and I can only assume that you just are a shithead, so that's why I reported you to YouTube, and I hope that enough people report you that your account gets frozen. Yep, that's all I got. Bye, guys.